Hey everyone, welcome back to your favorite pirate crew. Today we are going to talk about Katakuri uniting with Garp to save his sister. If you would like to see more about One Piece in our channel, please leave your thumbs up and subscribe to join our pirate crew. But pirates, before we continue with the video, I ask that you already subscribe to our channel, that way you will join our pirate crew and earn a devil fruit or master your favorite hockey. It would also help our crew a lot if you leave your like, thumbs up on today's video, so together we can become Yonkos. Now let's continue with today's video. The Egghead arc is increasingly proving to be one of those that will lead us into one of One Piece's greatest conflicts. While the world is recovering from the aftermath of Levely, the raid on Onigashima and the destruction of Lelugia, the Straw Hat Pirates, following their log pose, arrive at the mysterious and futuristic Egghead Island where the Navy super genius Dr. Vegapunk resides. Meanwhile, the world government has decided to assassinate Vegapunk, sending a CP0 team that includes two agents that the Straw Hats have dealt with before. Now, we head towards what will possibly be the end of this arc, involving several epic clashes that await possible new plot twists. But after all, I wonder what awaits for the end of this arc involving Blackbeard. He appeared at the beginning, but until then we suspect that we will still have something big involving him in the future. What will we have about those he has kidnapped? Will we have Garp, Katakuri, a new rescue arc? Let's talk about the possible future involving all these characters in today's video. As the world recovers from the aftermath of Levely, the raid on Onigashima, and the destruction of Lelugia, the Straw Hat Pirates, following their log pose, arrive at the mysterious and futuristic Egghead Island where the Navy super genius Dr. Vegapunk resides. Meanwhile, the world government has decided to assassinate Vegapunk, sending a CP0 team that includes two agents that the Straw Hats have dealt with before. A few weeks ago, Kobe, Yamakaji and their fleet attacked the island, they brought in a new line of pacifists known as Seraphim, and the Kuja were in shock when they were attacked by a cyborg resembling a young version of none other than Hancock. The battle was then interrupted by the arrival of Blackbeard's pirates, who came to take Hancock's Mero Mero Nomi power. Blackbeard was attacked by a Seraphim resembling a young Myhawk, and Hancock used his ability to turn all the marines and pirates, except Kobe and Blackbeard, into stone. Blackbeard was able to grab Hancock and nullify her ability, and a stalemate formed when Hancock said that if she was killed, her victims would remain petrified, and Blackbeard would never be able to use her fruit to undo it. Blackbeard finally decided to kill her anyway, but was interrupted by the sudden arrival of Silver's Rayleigh, who told the Emperor to leave the island with the concession that Hancock would reverse the petrification of his crew. In the present day, Rayleigh remained on Amazon Lily along with Shikuyaku, who was the former Amazon Lily Empress and captain of the Kuja Pirates two generations before Hancock. Legendary Pirate commented that the events were fortunate that they happened the way they did, as he was not sure if he would be able to take on Blackbeard in a battle at this time. At sea, a navy ship reported via Den Den Mushi that they were heading for Egghead and that Kobe's status was unknown as he had been kidnapped by Blackbeard's pirates. Captain Kobe is known as the hero of the Rocky Port incident and is one of the main characters that Oda wrote into the Navy. Since Garp began training him, Kobe has grown tremendously as a fighter. At the same time, his sense of justice has also evolved over time. Kobe was instrumental in the events that followed Reverie and was sent to Amazon Lily to capture Boa Hancock. Unfortunately for him, he didn't stand a chance and was later captured by Yonko Blackbeard. Kobe's fate remains unknown, however, the rest of his sword team is currently on Egghead Island. Since the capture of Captain Kobe is part of this arc, the resolution of this plot will likely be seen in this arc as well. After all, we have already seen that Garp went in to rescue him after discovering that he had been kidnapped. Meanwhile, One Piece is finally in its final saga, and as expected, Blackbeard is one of the major antagonists that will stand in Luffy's way around here. Since leaving Whitebeard's crew, he has consistently grown in power. In fact, recently, he is getting even stronger, thanks to his Akuma no Mi hunt. In the Egghead Island arc, Blackbeard attacked Trafalgar Law in the New World in an attempt to steal his Road Pong Glyph fragments. The outcome of that fight is not known at this time, however, it is more likely that Blackbeard emerged victorious and rose to the point where he is one of the closest people in One Piece itself. It would be quite interesting if Katakuri, who had his sister also taken by Blackbeard, would ally with Garp and the others to fulfill such a purpose. Charlotte Katakuri is the second son and third child of the Charlotte family and the older triplet brother of Daifuku and Oven. He is also one of Big Mom's three sweet pirate commanders and serves as the flower minister of Tato Land, ruling Kamugi Island. Due to his actions and role, Katakuri is the secondary antagonist in the second half of the whole Cake Island arc. He alongside his younger siblings Charlotte Brule and Charlotte Oven become allies of the Redhead Pirates and the Straw Hat Pirates during One Piece film. Red. Considering this, it would be quite interesting if this alliance occurred. Considering that, even though they are pirates and navy, Blackbeard's power is great and Garp alone could not beat him alongside a few extras, let's face it. As one of the four emperors, Blackbeard is one of the four most powerful pirates in the world. Even before he became an emperor, Teach was an immensely powerful pirate, 
even for a former member of Whitebeard's Pirates and the Seven Sea Warlords. At some point in his life, Teach once fought Shanks and gave him the scars in his left eye, with Shanks admitting that the injury did not occur through carelessness. His battle led Shanks to cautiously recognize Teach as an extremely dangerous threat. This once stated that Blackbeard could have become a commander when he was recommended for the job. The most remarkable thing about these two exploits is that Teach had not yet eaten a devil fruit. After the Marine Ford Dome War, the five elders believed that Blackbeard had a one-step advantage to usurp the position of emperor that Whitebeard once held, which eventually came to pass. During the time skip, he gained mass notoriety with his bounty being set at 2,247,600,000, showing how dangerous he had become. For unknown reasons, it was later increased to 3,996,000,000, making his bounty the second highest among current emperors and the highest among former sea warlords and members of the worst generation. He easily defeated his fellow ex-warlord, Boa Hancock, and even Silver's Rayleigh, the former right hand of the Pirate King, confessed that he would not stand a chance against Teach due to his advanced age. The most prominent feats that show Teach's incredible power were displayed by him defeating three division commanders of the Whitebeard Pirates, Thatch, Porgus D, Ace, and later during the War of Return, Marco, the new captain of the Whitebeard Pirates. After the time skip, he and his crew fought the Revolutionary Army and destroyed their headquarters in Baltigo before briefly facing off against the Marines and Cypherpole and eventually fleeing. Garp arrived at Naval Base G-14 with the intention of leading a mission to rescue Kobe from Blackbeard's pirates. It is confirmed that Kazan has officially joined Blackbeard's pirates and has kidnapped Charlotte Pudding alongside Augur. He is held captive on one of the Blackbeard pirates ships, possibly in the same manner as Kobe. Atakuri, alongside Garp, should they team up in order to save these two important people, could generate quite an interesting interaction. Not only because we now know that there is an even more difficult relationship to deal with between the two parties thanks to the existence of the Cross Guild, but also because, for the new age, there may be a need for these barriers between the two parties to be broken down. Garp is quite powerful on his own, no wonder he was considered the hero of the Navy. As Vice Admiral of the Navy Headquarters, Garp had command over all the lower-ranking soldiers. An example of this is when, after Morgan escaped, he was able to take out two of Ripper's subordinates, Kobe and Helmeppo and make them his own subordinates instead due to him having the higher rank. Also, as a vice admiral, he had the potential to be called upon to be one of the five vice admirals leading a fleet of ten warships during a buster call. In terms of combat, Garp had several decades of experience fighting and navigating the most inhospitable oceans in the volatile, new world. He is also a sailor's hero, and as he is known for bending and fighting G.O.L.D. Roger many times. Roger also claimed that he and Garp nearly killed each other on several occasions. As another true testament to pure power, Garp has defeated and almost killed Don Chinjo in the past, whose bounty was worth about 500 million, which at its peak and was said to be able to split a continent with a header. He also has leadership skills, being a Navy Vice Admiral and the commander of the 153 Navy branch. And above all, Garp has always been an odd guy when it came to dealing with pirates, seeming to respect them somewhat. So it would be quite possible that a secret alliance between them could happen. What about you? Would you find it interesting to see such an alliance between the two parties? How could this interaction be? Leave your opinion in the comments. That's it my straw hat pirate I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any suggestions for a video don't forget to comment below, because I'll be reading them all as I always do. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your pirate crew.